HMTV people! <laughs> and I'm sure that's just woke a load of people up because it's about six o'clock in the morning. We're back down here in Birmingham for another episode. I think this is the third video I've done for this one behind. Give it a tickle, people. Tickle, tickle. I'm too energetic for this time in the morning. Uh, so we are down in Birmingham, as I've just said. This is a six bed HMO conversion we've just carried out. We're almost at the end, so I've just done a bit of a video to do an update. We've done a loft conversion, um, put some stuff in the, in the some Veluxes and whatever else. So I thought to give you a little bit of a tour and talk you through where we are for now. So, like I said, there has been a few delays on this one with the, the old COVID. None of us like it, but it is a problem. So it's caused all sorts of issues. So we've got the new composite door up on behind. Give that a tickle. So I'll take you into bedroom one now. So, again, you can see it's been plastered, skimmed, all the joinery there. We've even got a spare steel. Um, this is a temporary supply. We're going to remove that and just put a bit of a board over there. And pretty much that's it for here. But I think you can appreciate from the video, this is actually a very good size room. I don't think there'll be any issues in renting this one out, folks. So we've still got a little bit of the chimney exposed. And if you can see, get my fingers right. No, 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 that way, that way. Oh, there, ah, there we go. See that strap there? We've had to remove some ties that tie next door in, so it's basically a, a big batch strap that goes between the two properties. So a batch strap is a, piece of, a big piece of metal basically that ties the two pieces of brickwork together so that it doesn't bulge. So I'll try and put a picture on the screen now. Um, and the purpose of that is obviously a structural strengthener. Um, we've had to take some of it off when we remove the chimney, so we've had to have that fabricated and welded there. So that's what this bit is here, and that's why it's still exposed because with COVID and the lockdown and whatever else, we've had a bit of a time delay on things, especially things like plaster and timber. So that was room one. We'll now go into the kitchen. So we've got the wires hanging out the roof for the lights, smoke alarms, fire alarm and all the rest of it people. So we've got a nice little kitchen, tickle tickle. The, uh, the floors have been overboarded, prepped, ready for tiling. And again, nice, nice white finish, nice and bright when it's at this stage. Got some big French doors we put in there, so there's a fire escape outside, so second exit. Uh, from the kitchen, underneath here, we've still got lots of crap under here, this is no good is it? Not impressed with that, so that's been messed off. So we'll be uh, putting that right, we're going to have to empty it obviously, a little bit of plaster under there. I've also recognised this is part of the snagging phase, that under the stairs hasn't been boarded. Uh -uh. That's not going to work folks, that is not good enough. See, even we drop bollocks. Um, so this room was, this is now bedroom two. This obviously comes, comes off the kitchen and this would have been the original kitchen and bathroom. So we've removed the chimney out of here and it's now turned into a humongous room. Humongous! Even echo. Maybe it's just start yodeling. Yodeling, yodeling, yodeling. Um, So we've got to put a couple of bricks in there, tidy this little bit up ready for the carpets. Obviously the steps being kept, we can make a bit of a feature out of that. However, on this project we are putting the carpets down, so we are we are not responsible for the flooring. And then we've obviously, sorry, got the ensuite at the back. There's not much to show you in here because the second fix hasn't been done. 
but obviously it's been painted, boarded. So now I'm back to the stairs, so just so that you know where I am. Front door, so I've done that room, that was the first bedroom, this is the kitchen. And now we're now, we're now going up the wooden hills. Up the wooden hills. So obviously this isn't finished, so it's still work in progress because we have things like floorboards up. And okay, so this is the back bedroom, and again a really good sized room. Second fix is in. We've got the kitchenette in. I'll go and stand over here. So you lovely people can see and appreciate the sheer size of it. So this is the ensuite. So if you've seen the previous videos, you will know that we've removed all the walls up here to create these. So it might be a good opportunity to see some before and after. Or if you're interested folks, see the series on the YouTube channel because you can see where we started and where it is now. Because we don't like to say we can do it, we like to show you we can do it. We like proof, because proof doesn't lie. So, where I am now, so this is the stairs, you can see behind me. Spin it around there, there's the door, so that's bedroom three. So now I've made a corridor down there. So this was existing. Um, now I think, I'm sure I've done some videos where, when I'm stood in this room, there's no roof. So obviously we've done a loft conversion with that, so we've had to put all the floors in. So we just goes to show you that how much, how much building work we've actually done on this property. So we stand in a corner here. Again, this is a really good sized bedroom again. Beautiful people, let's give it a tickle. Tickle, 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 love it. So yeah, bed can go behind, got loads and loads of space for everything. Again, same, same as every bed, bedroom in this one, it's got like a bit of a kitchenette area. The ensuite is a good size too. Um, so from what I'm seeing so far on this little inspection, it's the only thing that it this needs is a little bit of TLC. The electrics need second fixing. The plumbing needs second fixing. And then it just wants things like floorboards and bits put down and somewhere near. So again, from behind me, the the stairs have come up. I've just gone into this room here. Now we're going to bedroom five. Now this one's humongous. So again, the floor above is the loft conversion. So we would have shown you videos before where there's all sorts of joists going across and it's all open. And again, I'll, 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 do, a, I'll do a bit of a pan. That's the door I've just walked in behind. Turn around, you know, so this is a really good size room. Again, kitchenette there. And look at the amount of light coming into this room from these two windows, because it's, it's six o'clock in the morning right now. I'm like, oh, I know it is, I'm a cock. I'm a cock. You know a cock a doodle do? That's what my HIM TV was. It was everyone's alarm clock this morning. So John's the cock. <laughs> So, behind me, uh, I can talk to you about this actually. Behind me, these are very narrow stairs. So one thing we have to contend with when we're doing the loft conversion, because I'm, I'm now currently in the loft, is the width of the stairs we had issues with to try and get the cheek of this dormer. Uh, how can I explain this to you if you don't know? The cheek of the dormer is one that is this that's like the, the outside wall which connects us to next door that we're gonna we've created. And we had issues trying to get the wall where we could get the lead on the roof to make it weather tight. I hope that makes sense and I'm not quite sure how I can explain it. Oh I do! Watch this bit of footage of the drone!
So basically, the cheek of the wall, um, there's, a, there's, a few, there's a few complications in there, there is a, with every build, but obviously we've got over it. Um, but one of, one of the amendments we had to make was try to reduce the width of the stairs so that we maintain the firewall all the way down as well. So that there's an hour fire escape, an hour fire corridor all the way down. So the thing we had to sacrifice was the width of the stairs, but we've made it work. And the result is beautiful because look at the size of this. This is absolutely huge, people. Huge. This is almost like the size of a flat. So this really is, especially with all the permitted development that's coming up as well, folks, is the benefit that you can get from doing a loft conversion is you can get a huge, huge, huge room. It literally is like a flat. I mean, I'm six foot five. Top of my head, I can just about reach the ceiling. So the height we've got on this is immense. And again, look at, you know, you've got a nice big window there. The light that's coming through there is like phenomenal. Then you've got the Velux there. So you've got a window front and back. Obviously we've got, we've easily got a, an ensuite in there. There's not much to show you because it's not been second fixed yet. But I'll do a couple of perspectives to show people at home the advantage of doing a loft conversion. But you know, I do, I do genuinely think it's something that's worth considering if you are doing a HMO and you're trying to squeeze the eyes and teeth out of it on the number of rooms that you've got. Is doing things like extensions and loft conversions under permitted development can really, really give you some massive advantage. Yes, there's going to be more on a build cost, but if you can squeeze a room out, an extra room out on the cost of the refurb, and you work out your yield, depending on how much it's going to cost you, obviously, it can be very, very beneficial. Very, very. So really, really happy with this one so far. I think this room's stunning. I think all the rooms are really, really big. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So we are builders in Stoke called HIM. HIM TV people! And we come down to Birmingham. We went to, we went rogue. We went AWOL from Stoke and come down here and showed them what we can do. And this is part of the results. So, if you need any building work, give us a call, people, and I'll see you soon.